Hello, everybody, and thank you for sharing your time with me. I'm sending this message through various different channels to reach my dear Russian friends and the Russian soldiers serving in Ukraine. I'm speaking to you today because there are things that are going on in the world that have been kept from you, terrible things that you should know about. The strength and the heart of the Russian people have always inspired me. And that is why I hope that you will let me tell you the truth about the war in Ukraine and what is happening there. No one likes to hear something critical of the government, I understand that. But, as a long-time friend of the Russian people, I hope that you will hear what I have to say. I know that your government has told you that this is... ...the war to denazify Ukraine. <laughs> denazify Ukraine? This is not true. Ukraine is a country with a Jewish president. A Jewish president, I might add, whose father's three brothers were all murdered by the Nazis. You see, Ukraine did not start this war. Neither did nationalists or Nazis. Those in power in the Kremlin started this war. This is not the Russian people's war. No, it is a humanitarian crisis. Because of its brutality, Russia is now isolated society of nations. You're also not being told the truth about the consequences of this war on Russia itself. I regret to tell you the thousands of Russian soldiers that have been killed. This is not the war to defend Russia that your grandfathers or your great-grandfathers fought. This is an illegal war. Your lives, your limbs, Futures are being sacrificed for a senseless war condemned by the entire world. But to those in power in the Kremlin, let me just ask you why would you sacrifice this young man 